Hi, it's Lee. The interval timer on the Nikon D300S and the other Nikon higher-end cameras is similar to self-timer, but it takes multiple shots. Let's take a look. First, you'll want to put your camera in continuous servo and in auto area autofocus. Next, you'll want to replace your eye cup with the eyepiece cap. The reason for this is so that no additional light gets into your viewfinder, which could mess with your exposure. Next, go into your menu. You'll want the shooting menu and go down to interval timer shooting. This is where you're going to decide when your timer starts and how many photos are taken and how long in between each photo. So you can have the timer start now or at a specified time. Remember that if you use start time and you put in a specified time, remember that you have, uh, you have to set your camera to the proper time in, in the menus. I'm going to say now, which means about three seconds from, from when I actually start it. For my intervals, I would like to have two seconds in between my intervals. You can actually have minutes or even hours in between your intervals though. I'm going to go ahead and take three photos at one photo each. I can have the camera actually take multiple photos on each uh, go round, which gives me three photos. And next, it tells me when I'm going to start. So I'm going to press OK and the timer is active. Oh, I missed the first one, but the second one is good. And that's all. It took the three photos and we're done. The interval timer can be used for a lot of different things. You can do dramatic sunrise and sunset sequences of photos or when you're just messing around in the studio with self-portraits. If you have any questions about self-timers or the um, interval timer shooting, let me know.